consider a disk system with 100 cylinders. The requests to access the cylinders occur in the following sequence 4, 34, 10, 7 and so on. Assuming that the head is currently at cylinder 50, what is the time taken to satisfy all the requests if it takes 1 millisecond to move from one cylinder to the adjacent one and shortest seek time first policy is used. So these are the four options that are given to us. So these are the requests for the cylinders and we know that the head is currently at cylinder 50 and one millisecond is required to move from one cylinder to the next one and shortest seek time first policy is being used. So head is currently here. If the head is currently at 50 and we are following shortest seek time, then we know that to travel to cylinder 34 would be the least because these are all the requests. I have put them all over here in that order. So 2 which is here, 4 which is this track, cylinder, 6, 7, 10 and so on. I have put all of these and I have just shown the cylinders. So the head is currently here. If we check the shortest seek time, then 50 minus 73 would be 23 and 50 minus 34 would be less. So that means the from here, first the head will go here. This is the shortest seek time that will be required. From 34, if we check next request would, the shortest seek time would be 20. So from 34, it will go to 20 then to 19, then to 15, then to 10, 7, 6, 4 and 2. After it has come to 2, then the only option left is because this is the last request, then it will have to go to 73. So if we look at the cylinders traveled, that would be 50 minus 34, then from 34 to 20, 20 to 19, 19 to 15 and so on. So this is the number of cylinders traveled which is 119. We also know that it takes 1 millisecond to move from one cylinder to the next one. So 119 cylinders are being traveled. So 119 milliseconds will be required. So this is the correct option, option B.